Hydropack was designed with the roofer in mind. Our green roof trays are light and easy to carry, while our all-in-one design makes a true green paver. This guide is meant to help prepare your team for a Hydropack installation. Installation of a green roof must be the last step in the roofing process. Be sure to complete any equipment installation and finishing before the green roof is installed. Before the modules arrive, inspect the waterproofing surface to ensure that it is watertight. The surface of the waterproofing membrane should be swept and washed. Hydropack trays are shipped fully vegetated and ready to be installed. In order to protect the health of the plants, unload the pallets and place them in the shade as quickly as possible. Lay the root barrier protective fabric under anywhere Hydropack is to be installed. You will need to create a vegetation free zone along the perimeter of the roof and any rooftop equipment. This vegetation free zone separates the green roof from parapets, reflective walls, windows, and provides pathways to service equipment on the roof. Hydropack does not need to be installed with edging. However, some designs will specify edging in the installation. Lift the pallets to the roof one at a time. Each pallet weighs about 2,200 pounds. It is recommended that the pallet is suspended above the roof while the trays are removed to be installed. Before placing Hydropack, take two empty trays and place them at one corner of the roof. This will help you visualize the sequence you follow when arranging the trays. You will notice that the sides of each Hydropack tray are fitted with either male or female clips. These fittings connect easily and will hold the system together. Each tray weighs 45 pounds or less and can be lifted by one person. Remember to always install Hydropack trays from left to right. This will ensure each tray is able to clip into the last. We recommend that a maximum of two people install the trays and the others pass trays to them to create an assembly line. In some cases, Hydropack may need to be cut in order to fit the space. To cut a tray, empty the tray using the filter fabric to lift the soil. Cut the empty tray with a circular saw, knife, or reciprocating saw, being careful not to pierce the roofing membrane. Position the tray so the remaining edges face outward. Cut the soil and plants with a knife and replace them in the tray. When all the trays have been installed, fill the perimeter with gravel ballast if specified by the architect. When the installation is completed, be sure to remove all equipment and debris from the roof. If there are any bare spots, use the plants to fill in these areas. Simply pick pieces of plants in other trays and spread them over the remaining bare spots before watering. Water the green roof for about 30 minutes in each area or until the reservoirs beneath the growing media are full. To check the water level in the reservoirs, lift the filter cloth and look below. It is important to ensure that the green roof sees little to no foot traffic immediately after installation and that foot traffic is minimized going forward. The vegetation will die off if it is walked on too often. You have now completed the installation of a beautiful and fully vegetated green roof.